we already established again back in the day. You with Tampa, you were obviously coaching the back end of the defense, but you've been around some really talented people there and where you currently are. Where does T.J. Watt rank for you? Oh, man. Man, he, he's, in, he's in that elite class, and not only because of his talent, um, but it, his commitment um, daily. Um, the physical work that he does, the classroom work that he does, his approach to his business is elite. Um, it is Derek Brooks-like. It is John Lynch-like. Um, it is like some of the guys that I've been around um, that, that we spent, had a chance to spend some time with a few few weekends ago. Um, everyone obviously talks about his talent. He's been a defensive player of the year and all of that. But, but man, he's such a really good example uh, to the young Steeler just on a day like today, just watching him go about his business and the professionalism in which he does it uh, and the urgency in which he does it every single day. Um, and so, yeah, he's 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 in the tip top of that elite group for sure. And he, of course, he's not the only one who could put the quarterback horizontal on your team. How good can this defense be, Coach? Walk me through that. You know, I think for us, it, it's going to be communication. We got quality players. Um, we got experience. Some of our experience is new to us. Elandian Roberts, uh, Cole Holcomb, Quan Alexander, um, Pat Pat P. Um, mm. You know, Keanu Neal, all are veteran players. We're all very familiar with those guys, and that's why they're here. Um, but as a collective, we're new. And, and so I really think our ability to communicate, and, and particularly, um, you know, in our home stadium, uh, the challenge uh, from a defensive perspective of communicating in the home stadium. Home stadium is an awesome advantage when your defense communicates. And so. Um, that's where our, our stress has been. That's why we've played some of these veteran players as much as we've played them throughout the preseason. It's just no substitution for getting those guys in a bowl and letting them compete and communicate because ultimately their ability to communicate and stay connected is going to define our level of greatness. When was the first time you met Joey Porter Jr.? When was the first time for that? For you? <laughs> I think I think he was I think he was eight or nine. He and my son were in a track meet in, in Sacramento, California, met at a national track meet, mm-hmm. and they were in a prelim together, and they were in the same heat, and and, and me and his old man wanted to bet on the race, <laughs> so <laughs> as, as as some dads would do. Yes. Uh, that's probably the first time, man, but uh, it, it is funny, it's. It's really dating me. It's, it's making me realize how long I've been at it. Yeah, I know. Have you caught yourself again? I know you're intense and you're 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 locked in uh, at every moment. But have you caught yourself? Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm coaching this kid right now in a steel uniform. Um, probably in moments when you know when we're not busy. Right. You know, you run into him in a cafeteria or something like that. Mm-hmm. But um, in the midst of the work, you know. Um, I really don't think a whole lot about it. He had such an accomplished career at at Penn State, and and no, so I'm not surprised that he's here. Um, but when I think about the history of it, how long I've known this kid uh, throughout his life, it is pretty funny. I mean, young, old. We've just to uh, wrap this conversation up, Coach. Just went through your roster and some of the moves, and we haven't even hit all of them. Certainly from the draft and some kids that are looking really good in the preseason. Do you, at any point prior to the f- week one or already have, played the nobody believes in his card? Do you do such a thing, Mike Tomlin? No. Um, no, they, they, you know, they know I don't care. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can't play that card. This, this group knows me, mm-hmm. and they know I don't care what people think. Mm-hmm. And, and so I'd be less than genuine if I played that card. You know, that devalues my position in this whole conversation, Coach. You know what I mean? As a member of the media, I mean, if you don't, you know, believe, you don't, you don't listen to the outside noise, all of us in the media feel like we're insignificant, Coach. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, d- definitively not you, man. Um, <laughs> I appreciate your service. <laughs> <laughs> that I appreciate. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 